Now let's move on to this question. So the gradient at any point, so the gradient at any point x, y on the curve is this. Now the first thing we have to understand is that the gradient is what? The gradient is actually dy by dx. So I hope you guys make a note of this. So because whenever this will come up, you know exactly what it means when we have the gradient of a curve or of a line. So let's write this down. We are given that dy by dx by the question is equal to root of 1, so 1 plus 2x. Now again, we can rewrite this as 1 plus 2x power half. That makes sense because we know that square root is actually power half. Okay, that is the first part that we have to kind of derive. Now the curve passes through the point, this is the passing point. This is my x and my y value for the point, obviously. Now part one, we have to find the equation of the curve. Now equation of a curve means we have to find the value of y. Okay, now we understand that since integration is a reverse process of differentiation, because you're given dy by dx, we have to use that somewhere. So by thinking logically or by knowing some concepts, we understand that if you were to integrate dy by dx, you will have to get y back. So this is how we are going to find the equation of the curve, which is y. So y is equal to integration of dy by dx, which is 1 plus 2x, power half, and then dx. And we have to find this. So first thing first, we have to increase the power by 1. So half plus 1 is 3.2, sorry, 3 over 2. That'll be 1 plus 2x, 3 over 2, okay? And then we have to divide by the same power, 3 over 2. And then we have to divide by d by dx of the value inside, that will be just 2. Because we know that d by dx of 1 plus 2x, the value inside, is going to be 2. And that's why we divide by 2. And finally, please do not forget this, we have to also add the constant of integration at the end. Okay, that's the main idea. Now simplify, this and this will cancel out, so you will have 1 over 3, 1 plus 2x power 3 over 2 plus c as your value of y, which is the equation of the curve. Now again, this is only part marks, we have to also find this value of c. So how do we find this value? As always, we have to use the given values or information that we have to find that. This is my x value and my y value. So it just means that when x is equal to 4, the value of y is 11. So let's do that. y will be 11 when the value of x is equal to 4. So 2 times 4 here is 8. 3 over 2 plus c. So 1 plus 8 is 9 power. 3 over 2. That will be this. Divided by 3. That will be 9. So 11 is equal to 9 plus c. So finally, c has to be the value of 2. So let's conclude by conclusion. y have to be 1 over 3, 1 plus 2x, 3 over 2, plus the value of c, which is 2. So this is the value of y that we have to show for part 1. Now for part 2, we have to find the point at which the curve intersects the y-axis. So pretty easy. Now again, we have a very good indication here. Whenever you see intersects, meets, cuts, or joins, this will lead to a simultaneous equation. So we have to understand that. So now we have the equation of the curve, which is y equal to 1 third, uh, 1 plus 2x power, over 2 plus 2 that is my equation number 1 now it meets with the x-axis now we understand that at the x-axis so y-axis at the y-axis what happens the value of x have to be 0 so I hope you guys understand this on the vertical line obviously because here we have the x-axis and the y-axis uh, sorry this is y and this is x on the y-axis, obviously, the value of x will be 0. So that's why we know this. So replace this value back in your equation. You will have 
y. 1 over 3, 1 plus 0, 3 over 2, plus 2. So you will have y is equal to, this will be 1, that will be 1 over 3, plus 2, that will be 2, 1 over 3. If you want to, you can always expand this up to you. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 7 over 3. So the point of intersection will be what? The point will be the x value is 0, and the y value will be 7 over 3. Okay, and this will be a question involving integration.